Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another steel chainsaw here with stripped muffler bolt threads. This is how it came to the shop, apart with two screws which are the wrong screws for that muffler. And I have to fix those threads and I'll show you how to do this in today's video. Now when I do these kinds of repairs, I always like to remove the top cover. It just makes it a lot easier to get in there. And have a look at the bolt holes here. It's all stripped. See the bolt goes in and out. Same on the other side. So what I think's happened here is the muffler got loose over time. They probably lost the bolts and the caps here. And then they went in and put these machine screws from Still. They're a finer thread. These saws originally come with screws that are about this long, but the threads are more coarse. So what I think happened by them going back in with these machine screws with finer threads, they probably messed up the threads that were there. So today what I'll be doing is drilling these holes out and putting thread inserts. And today I'll be using some M5 by 0.8 inserts. That's the thread and these are about six millimeters long. Now the good thing about these kits is you have the proper tap and the proper drill bit size to do the job. So it makes it a lot easier with no guessing work. So I'll get my drill bit in. So what I did here is I tied up the brake handle as far back as I could. This is to give me more room here when I go in with the drill. I'm going to go in there about half an inch deep. And make sure you drill nice and straight in there. And I made sure that the piston was covering the exhaust port. That's just so that no shavings get into the engine. Now I've put the tap from the kit, which will be the correct tap. And I need to make some threads here. It's pretty easy to make these threads because it's basically aluminum or whatever metal they're using for this. And there's not really any danger of shavings going in the engine if you do this carefully. And I like to clean my tap in between holes. And now I'm just going to do this hole over here. Now it's easy to deviate to go left or right when tapping these, so try to always keep it centered all the time. See, sometimes it binds when you want to come out. So when it does that, I just go back in and come back out. And now I'm just going to air blow that out. Now I've got my insert, I'll put it in the tool here. And then I'm just going to go in and screw this insert all the way in. These can be tight to get out sometimes. Now the last tool I need from the kit here is this straight pin. And what you do with this pin is once the insert is installed is you reach in and then you pop the back pin here or the tab. That's just in case your screw goes beyond that, it will not be restricted. So it's just a matter of putting it in and pushing. There we go. Now the screw in my hand here would be the original screw for the muffler. 
you would have had two of these. And as you can see, they are coarse thread. But if you put inserts like I'm doing today, you will have to use a machine screw that is M5. Okay, and I've got the right gasket plate behind the muffler here as well. And I'll get these screws started in there. Now when I thread in bolts into thread inserts, I am a bit more careful than if there weren't any inserts. And the better way to prevent this from happening in the first place is to check your muffler bolts once in a while because they can get loose over time, vibrate and mess up your threads. That's nice and solid. It will not go anywhere. And I will put back some caps that were missing. Now, if you find these going too loose, you can always stretch the tabs or pull them out a bit. Then they will go in a lot tighter in the muffler. So that's all you have to do if you have stripped muffler bolts on your chainsaw. And I highly recommend to get a kit like this. You can get them at Princess Auto here in Canada, Amazon in the States, Amazon, and probably Harbor Freight. Very handy to have in the shop. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope that the video has helped you out. If it has, please like it and share it with your friends. And you guys have a great day.